Hello, this video is on graphing a system of linear inequalities. Now it is assumed that you know how to graph a linear inequality, and maybe it's helpful if you've graphed a system of equations. Here we're going to put it all together. We're going to graph a system of inequalities. Remember, every time you graph an inequality, it's got a shaded region. So how do we do it? First, we're going to graph one of the inequalities. Again, the system was probably two inequalities. We're going to graph one inequality, and we're going to use hatching for the shaded part. And hatching just simply means a series of, of pen or pencil strokes. Then, we're going to graph the other inequality. But you're, we're going to use a different angle of hatching for its shaded part. So if we hatch to the left, we're going to hatch to the right. So we're going to end up with an area of cross-hatching. And the area of cross-hatching will be the solution of the system. The hatching that was only single layer, like the hatching that only ended up being one layer deep and not cross-hatched, we're going to either erase or ignore. So if we're hatching one way and then we hatch another way, this area of cross-hatching, that's the only solution. So this is what our solution may look like. In other words, we're just ignoring the other areas of hatching. So let's try a few examples. But before we do it, I would like to just illustrate with some overlays of plastic what we're talking about. So let's say we're going to graph one line, and we have one area of hatching. And then we're going to graph another line, have another layer of hatching. So this region is cross-hatched. We're going to ignore this area, ignore this area. This region is actually cross-hatched. So, and the graph could be however you want. You know, one layer could be over here, and the other layer could be over here. So this triangular region is the cross-hatched area. Okay? So let's try some examples. Here, we're going to graph this linear system. I'm sorry, um, system of linear inequalities. The first one, we're going to do this quickly, has a y-intercept of plus 1. The slope is negative 1. And there's no equal to sign here. So this is going to be a dashed line. All right, a dashed line. Now where do we shade? It says y is less than the line we graphed. So we're going to shade below the line. So I'm going to use cross-hatching like that. Next, I'm going to graph the second inequality. My y-intercept here is negative 2. My slope is 1 half, rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2. Again, there's no equal to sign here, so this is definitely a dashed or a dotted line. Now where do I shade? Y is greater than the line, so I shade above the line. Notice I'm using a different angle of cross-hatching. So if you look at this, we've got the blue hatching, the red hatching, but this area, this triangular area, is cross-hatched. So the ultimate solution, and I've just drawn this twice, the ultimate solution is this region here. So here's what the final answer would look like for this system of inequalities. It is just this triangular shaded region. Let's try another example. Here we've got uh, a vertical line. X is less than or equal to 2. Well, we're going to just graph X equals 2. And X equals 2 is right here. So we're going to have a nice vertical line right here. And it says X is less than, which means we want to shade values of X that are to the left of or less than 2. So my shading is going to go over here. And again, I'm just hatching one layer, one layer deep with red. Next, we're going to graph the second inequality. My y-intercept is negative 1. My slope is 2 thirds, rise 2, run 3. And then going backwards, rise negative 2, run negative 3. And there's an equal to sign, so we're going to have a solid line. And now where do I shade? It says y is less than the line we graphed. So I'm going to shade below. And again, we have two layers of hatching. We have the red hatching, the green hatching, but this area in here is hatched with both red and green. So the ultimate solution, and I've graphed this again, 
will be this region here. This is the final answer. To this system of inequalities, the hatching will look like this, just this triangular region. I like turtles.